Okay, in this video, I'm just going to run through a couple more views of this tornado and I'll keep building the scene and keep checking the frame rate. You can see I'm down to about 26, 27 now, but it's getting there. So, but one thing that I wanted to point out for those of you who are new storm chasers, tornado chasers perhaps, and if you're new to the game, um, just a few things that I've learned over the years, some some from, you know, experience, you know, some the wrong way. Well, one of the best things you can do is, that I've always had for years, is have a motorcycle helmet in your car. I have for years, always. I always take a motorcycle helmet when I go tornado chasing. And that's because if you happen to go down towards, say, you know, the Texas Panhandle, western Oklahoma, you know, places like that, sometimes that hail can be just monster size huge. I mean, just really, really huge. So that's a really good thing to have. And a couple other things. Um, one is something to protect your camera. If you chase these early storms in, say, April, sometimes the wheat is not well seeded into the ground, and then uh, there's a lot of dust that blows along. And so it tends to get things really... I've had places where things are just completely coated with dust that you would... You wouldn't even expect. And then a couple other things I always made sure that I had when I traveled was lots of water. Maybe I needed it for my radiator, but you know, sometimes it was just, I just needed lots of water. And also, really warm jackets, especially those April storms. It could be a hot day out, humid even out there on the plains. And then suddenly, before you know it, you know, that cold front comes through and with a brisk wind and it gets cold. I mean, really, really cold. So those are just, just a couple things, and one other thing I always had, is, uh, depends on your type of motorcycle helmet, if you don't have a shield on it, make sure you have eye protection as well. I've, I always carried it around eye goggles in my car anyway, and even spare glasses in the car. So every little bit helps, but you know. Yeah, performance down about 20 frames per second on that one. If I drop below about 20, then my lightning looks really bad. Alrighty, that's it for now.